Hi, I'm Upwards, and welcome to another day in the life with me and the iPhone 11. So I'm going to be taking you guys through with me on my day-to-day -day activities to see if the iPhone 11 can keep up with me in 2024. Now, there's a couple of things to note. This is the used iPhone, so the battery health is now at 84%. But for most people who are looking at buying this iPhone in 2024, you're going to be looking at the used market. It was released in 2019 and is heading into its fifth year. It's going to be a pretty good indicator for most people to figure out whether buying a used iPhone 11 is worth it in 2024. Specs-wise, we are looking at a 6.1-inch LCD display, the A13 Bionic chip, and a dual camera setup, 12 megapixel wide and 12 megapixel ultra wide. This is actually the first iPhone with an ultra wide lens, so we're gonna put that to the test to see how does it hold up in 2024. And hopefully, by the end of this video, we'll find out if the iPhone 11 is the best budget iPhone in 2024. Let's go. I unplugged the iPhone 11 at 920, and so far, we still have 100% battery. So let's see if it will last the whole day. First part of the day is to lock in and get some work done. I've got a YouTube video planned to go live this Saturday that I haven't started on yet, so it's time to get that done. I decided to post something on my Instagram story and so far, performance has been pretty reliable. I'm able to open all my user social media apps pretty quickly without lag and switching between them is no problem. Compared to the iPhone 10, which I had tested in another video, the better performance on the 11 is definitely noticeable. Apps launch quicker, no loading in between switching apps, all with ease. This is probably in part thanks to the 4GB of RAM, which is definitely helping a lot to keep all the apps in the background running smoothly and to be able to switch from different apps quickly. The display is one downside of this phone. It leaves a lot to desire, and with an LCD display, nothing looks as vibrant or as sharp as even the 10 I had tested. Watching videos doesn't have that same punch, and the thick bezels make it look outdated. Brightness is also not a strong point, using it outdoors in the sun is quite difficult and not the best experience. After lunch, I've planned to meet up with a few friends in town to organize a present for our friend's birthday next week. Using the iPhone 11 on the train, I checked some of my messages, scrolled on Instagram, turned on some music and watched some YouTube. The display struggled quite a bit under the bright sunlight, but so far performance has been satisfactory. Being able to check apps quickly and bounce between Instagram and YouTube was no problem. I took a few photos on the train of the beautiful view and it's looking to be a very nice day today. Cameras on the iPhone 11 are decently good, but not amazing. You can shoot up to 4K and the stabilization is pretty good. The ultra wide lens isn't quite up to par with the main lens, but it's great to use from added perspective and the resolution looks good. Before I meet up with my friends, I decided to take a quick stop around the waterfront and try to get some cinematic shots with the iPhone 11.
Okay, so it is 2.51 right now and we're sitting at 56% and I told my friends we're gonna meet up at 3 p.m. So, time to get over there. Hey. The, oh, I'll be the same. Hang on. No way the same. Is it the same? Why is I met up with my friends? I used the iPhone 11 to research for ideas for a gift. Then once we got all that we needed, we popped into Gongcha to grab a drink and pan our frame. This is caramel coffee. It's a little bit bitter, but it's good. I like it. Solid 7.6. 7 7.6. 7 7.6. Okay. There you guys. Guys, this is a 7.6. Caramel coffee with roll. It's now 5.19. We have 41% of battery left. It's time to get home. On the train ride back, I used my phone to message some of my friends and scrolled for a bit on social media. <laughs> okay, so I'm just about to head home. It is now 6.09 and our battery percentage is at 25%. I don't know if it's gonna make it through the whole night at 25%. But we'll see. We'll see if we can make it and yeah, I'll see you guys at home. Okay, so now is the end of the day. It's currently 8.35. So let's go through the battery usage and see how the iPhone 11 is stacked up. So currently at 8.35, the battery percentage is at 10%. And let's take a look at battery usage. So today, screen on was 3 hours and 17 minutes. And the screen off time was 1 hour and 10 minutes. So the battery usage by app, the top one is 52% from Instagram. After that is 8% from Spotify, 8% from Safari, and 7% from YouTube. When you take a look at the activity, that kind of breaks down the usage for the whole day. So in conclusion, did the iPhone 11 hold up in 2024? Well, in terms of the battery, yes, it did. Barely, with 10% left at 8.35 p.m. iPhone 11 is a solid choice for people looking for a budget iPhone that has solid reliable performance, a decent camera, an average display, and a battery that can last a day. If you need a phone that has a better display and a better battery life, the iPhone 11 might not be for you. In terms of software, I expect Apple to keep supporting the 11 until iOS 18, which means the iPhone 11 will still be on the latest iOS update until 2025. Even after 2025, it will still get security updates for the next 2-3 to three years. So if software support is a concern for you, the iPhone 11 will continue to be supported for at least 3 more years. So if you're someone like me who doesn't use their phone for heavy usage, mainly using it for social media such as YouTube and Instagram, and have some pretty solid performance, the iPhone 11 might just be the best budget iPhone for you. So that wraps up my video. I'm Upward, and if you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.